Hey, hello beautiful people, yo, 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 what's going on this week on the Agile Lounge vlogcast, we're gonna talk about, actually I'm offering you an Agility Gaga to talk about amazing thing on social media, stay tuned. Hello beautiful loungers, agilists all around the world. How are you today, this Friday, January the 24th? Uh, once again, it's Alexandre Frédéric, the coach AF. Um, today, I would like to offer you this week uh, what I call it in part of the series of Agility Gaga. It's not about Lady Gaga, by the way. The concept is uh, from Queen song Radio Gaga. Uh, if, if those of you remember the lyrics of that song, uh, it goes like a kind of saying like it's gaga and it's, it's, it's resonates with the kind of a French omenatope of blah blah. So for me, when I try to um, kind of having fun, because it's important to have fun, like, you know, with my initial, it's Agile for Joy, A-F-J, Agile for Joy. And uh, that series, that, that concept of doing Agility Gaga is actually to laugh, to laugh about all those people who uh, think they are so serious and why so serious. So it could be also a kind of a joker way. And um, yeah, I get inspired by especially French vlog this week. Uh, there's a nice gentleman actually. Uh, uh, that I discover, I won't necessarily put his name right now because I didn't greet or meet uh, him. But it's really refreshing to see uh, there's uh, other people in uh, French Montreal that are actually um, having a sense of constructive criticism. So, uh, and I really feel like I've been really inspired by the Joachim Phoenix version of the Joker, so call me Joker, to be a bit bold, you know, not completely a maniac, but, you know, bold. And um, also the way uh, Ricky Gervais, or Javis, as you like to say, actually uh, kind of destroy the fading Hollywood. And in our world of agility, and especially in Montreal, uh, it's, it's refreshing to see uh, someone who nailed it about his call for boycotting uh, the Agile Tour Montreal. Now, it's not a thing about agreeing or disagreeing with this or the call to action and so on. But um, a lot of people say, oh, Alexandre, you're so confronting, you saw this, you saw that. You know, remember last summer I've been bullied by, in private message by, Swadizan agilists, they are so agile and open mind in their open space that they try to attack you, they try to call your name, they try to, um, to uh, they are jealous of the fact that I achieve. And I just start like three uh, new mission in, uh, in, in small and medium business. They are not startup, but the, these clients are, they, they choose Agile Lounge and myself and my coaches because we are truly agnostic, because we are truly listening to what they need and what they want and the way they would like to be introduced to agility with not a one-size-fits-all. And I got confirmation this week about that fact, that objective reality fact. So I don't care. I truly don't care, as Ricky Gervais will tell you, about your judgment, about your opinion of me on the Agile Lounge, because we are the achiever, and you are just a bunch of robots, of clones, of con artists. I will say it again, you're a bunch of loser, guys, because you don't have any type of real openness, a real mindset of agility, a real 
will to uh, make your client experience something practically you see so that's the thing so this is why they choose me this is why I'm overwhelmed on both side of the border and um, and then I'm gonna try uh, to actually uh, train m m more coaches uh, to take on all of these great 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 uh, process of onboarding team and people into agility and uh, we do it empirically with science with substantion stop Stop with your one size fit all and stop telling your client you need this, you need that, this condition. It's unconditional agility. It's an adjective. It's a decision you make like love. Yes, I will dare to speak about love, guys. So I'm not Ricky Gervais, but I don't care of what you think, especially my colleague, because I care more of what my client care, okay? what my clients want to achieve, to be smarter and transforming the VUCA and to the VUCA Pro. Uh, and I'll do it with them and co-creation and collaboration and a great participation with conscious agility because conscious agility is being in tune and tune your behavior. I remember that principle. So... That, that was like, that was an amazing week because one of my colleagues, what a great thinker, great mind in agility, uh, make me discover this nice gentleman who call in for uh, the boycott and he's in the lens of like the Dave Thomas. Uh, there was like, uh, was it Ken Beck? No, Ron Jeffrey, a very nice blog about the uh, slavery of the developers. And um, some people about sales and agile says like uh, we should stop having a kind of war and work together. So here's the thing, guys. If you just continue to buzzwording about thing, if you just said to client that and matter to achieve agility, they need a kind of a box. You are not being agile, okay? And business agility, I'm in it since 2000 with my great mentor, Mike Beadle. Okay? It's nothing new. It's the evolution. It's the natural revolution of being agile. You cannot stay just for developers. The revolution for the developers was very interesting back in 2001. But we are now facing a world of fast-pacing change. So the adaptation to change require more than the flexibility of bending over to a conformity. As long as the Montreal market will try to be safe in conformity with hiding themselves to big structure, to one size fits all, to fake certified people who don't have any F experience, yes, the F word, you don't have F experience. And then you try to create community of practice. My ass. Okay? I don't care anymore of what you think of what I think. Because I'm not thinking. I don't know anything. I'm just open. I'm just truly flexible. I just want to make a change. Make a difference in the world of work. Make people are pure. And for that, you have to help them, support them, facilitate everything they need to get there and to actually have a sense of fulfillment with a deliverable, a shippable product, a shippable website, a shippable solution, something that will please their customer. And the only measure of success, it's another principle of the 12, the only measure of success in agility, the only true KPI is customer satisfaction. They will come back if you put the customer truly at the center of your preoccupation, okay? So that's, that's a pretty amazing time. Truly, it's an amazing time because I, I start seeing people being criticizing of this monolithic block of safer of Montreal, of this Swadiza community that actually just bully people who achieve like me. And 
as we learn in Scrum, I will call out from my own, from my own, I will call out the violation, the violation of you, little pussy out there, because I don't care anymore, because I am making great stuff on both sides of the border, and I'm happy because I feel fulfilled, okay? So, I don't care anymore of what you think, what is our community. But I welcome anyone who have a critic mind, anyone who would like to put the customer collaboration over processes and tools, would like to work empirically with a true objective reality of what is Agile and to dare real Agile of the podcast who's coming up. So... That's the thing. I don't care of what you think if I'm too bold, I'm too confronting, I'm too this or too that. Because you know what? I know thyself, the universe and the gods, all right, from the deep of my heart. And uh, when I talk to people, when I make business, because I'm doing business too, um, it's, it's really a tremendous time. And the VUCA is not what you think it is. VUCA is vision, understanding, clarity and adaptability for real. So if you want really to invite me as I inviting you to be true, okay, to be consequent, you better learn what is substantial. You better have a scientific mind and a sporty way and a lungy way to do things like this, all right? So if you'd like me to care, like I care of my client and reciprocity, Stop nagging, stop fooling around, stop pretending, all right? Stop the blah, blah, and walk the talk. Satisfy your client. Doesn't mean to do it. You have to challenge them as a great coach. If you're just a good coach, you just tell them, oh, you need a product owner or don't take the mandate. Isn't it amazing? I met clients last week. They saw about five firms, firms and even like individual coach. And I was the first one to actually listening to what they need, what was the reason to have a new way of work, of collaborating between their sales department and those who do their website. It's an interactive website. And they told me that they were amazed by this free hour consultation with a nice cafe, all right, at the Agile Lounge downtown having someone who listened to them, having someone who actually want to go through something that will be adapted to their needs, which showing them actually something that is practical to them, not big academia, theoric, and, and some kind of games that it's going to be a waste of time. So that's the thing, guys, being pragmatic, being empirical. Huh? That's the new way. That's the pure way to do Agile. And I'm not saying I'm the best necessarily, but I know I achieve because I listen first and I propose things to practice with them and I support them. The importance of facilitating and support. Huh? As a great coach who was a scrum master for two decades and I learned in the trench and the hard way with big egos on business side and big egos and God's computer programmer on the other side. Let me tell you that you become bold and confronting in a lion. Unleash the lion of agility in, within you. And otherwise, take out all those who do goofy thing and gaga thing. So that's my message to you on this beautiful Friday of January the 24th. Just laughing, Joker style, call me Joker. Ricky Gervais, I don't care. I don't care about what you think. And uh, I did reach out to this gentleman if you want to come and do a podcast in French about his call to action. But as I said, if you come to the podcast of Dare Real Agile, so that's the thing. You're going to dare to talk about something that we don't talk enough or to call out violation in the scrum way. But I would like to, if you, to bring the real agility, I would like you propose some kind of action or something to do or to be better, to become a better version individually or about the subject, all right? So that's the deal. Contact me at coach at agile slash 
lounge.com and uh, proposed me a subject and um, a timeline. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great to welcome you to the studio, having a great conversation, freestyle with your topic to Dare Real Agile. And actually, you could actually bookmark the darerealagile.com. It's all together. And it's coming soon, guys. And also next week, the 29th of January on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. at the brewery, brewery blah, 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 the microbrewery for Origins in Point saint Charles. I will be there to welcome you. Come and share what great book in agility or lean or what have you inspired you to be a better coach, a better product owner, a better business owner, a better leader, a better agilist. Come and share with us with a nice beer. And if you take on on the link uh, below uh, your prime tickets, you're going to receive your first free glass of beer offer on the house or sponsor the great, great microbrewery for origin with the crumpet it's a nice england stuffed beer and a lot of goodness if you'd like style they have style the cosmo it's amazing it's a caffeine beer so it's great so it's gonna be great now i'm not ricky gervais or the joker anymore i'm kind of donald trump yeah someone called me the donald trump of agility thank you so much okay i don't like or i don't dislike the guy but i like the fact that people are judgmental at 40 Five, 50 years old. It's amazing. Our, our community is so jealous. Our community is so pretending to be agile. And you are so cynical, guys. So I don't care anymore. All right, guys. So that was just a fun agility guy. Yeah, that's the concept of doing a kind of a shadow hunting from Carl Gustav Jung, being authentic and just spreading the joy. Agility for joy. On that, see you next Friday about more fun with Agile Lounge and also more science and sports. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.